What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we have another player breakdown for the upcoming draft, and it is Darnell Wright out of Tennessee, the right tackle, but he's also played some left tackle, and we can take a look at this big mamma jamma right here, right now. 6'6", 342 pounds for Tennessee. Tremendous size, obviously, for a tackle. You love to see it. Great height, great weight. But yet, even at that size, he's actually very mobile, in my opinion. He can pull. They used him in pulling, and he can get up to the second level to find the linebackers. I watched three different games of him. Georgia, Alabama, and LSU are the three opponents that I watched him at. And I feel like as though I got a pretty good feel for this dude. Strengths. First off, one of Ron Rivera's favorite things, right? Position flex. He played both left tackle for a year at in 2021 so last season and then the season that just played he played at right tackle and before that he was at right tackle so he has the ability to be a swing tackle at least early in his career if he's not already at your straight up starter at either one of those positions but i do believe he feels better at home at the right tackle position but i do know he can play both Size, obviously huge strength at 6'6", 335, and he has tremendous strength. And you can tell he relies on that a lot, too, because he's just been bigger and stronger most likely throughout his entire life, and he relies a lot on that size and strength. I mentioned the mobility, pull, get to the second level, and I also noticed that he has good eyes, right? Whether it be in the pass blocking or in the run blocking, being able to understand where the defense is going and see, all right, that's not my man anymore. He went to a different gap. Let me get to my next dude. The biggest strength this guy has, saves the save the best for last, is his pass blocking. He gave up zero sacks on the season and absolutely dismantled. I believe he only had eight pressures given up all season long and he played against guys like will anderson who's going to go most likely in the top five of the draft he played some other guys as well this kid is good out of tennessee all right the weaknesses and this does make me a little worried to draft him if we were going to take him at pick number 16 he has high pads all right as I said, he relies a lot on that strength. He needs to work on technique at the next level. Needs to work on that technique. A thing I noticed that I was really disappointed in is he lacks hustle and finishing the play, right? And sometimes you'll see in maybe some highlight videos, and yeah, on a pass block, maybe he gets a good punch, and then a the guy gets off balance, and he punches him again, and then he knocks him down. And people are like, oh yeah, he finishes great. But there's times in the run game and even in the pass game when if there's something, if it's over, whatever he's supposed to do, he just stops or maybe just starts jogging. He doesn't keep going, especially in the run game, which is so important. Hey, you made your block cool. Now get up and get to the next level and keep going. You don't know what kind of other block you may make to turn that 20-yard run into a touchdown run or a 10-yard run into a 25-yard run. He lacks that ability to keep hustling, which – is concerning because that's almost something you can't coach, right? It's either you have it or you don't. Do you have that hustle? Do you have that want to? Do you have that drive? And hopefully he could develop it at the next level, but that was something that was disappointing to me. I mentioned he had really good eyes and understanding at times. There is times that he, though, looks back for the runner, especially in the run blocking where He's, he's made his block, and he kind of stops his feet, and now he's looking back to see where the running back is going. Don't do that. Just finish your block, right? If you have a guy that you're locked up on, finish him, pancake him, take him to the ground. You're too big, you're too strong to just sit there and wait, right? And you have good mobility. And, it, and then that causes him to get beat, right? Because now he's not looking at the defender anymore. He's not focusing on what his job is. He's turning around looking, and then all of a sudden they get loose and they go after the running back. No, once you get a hold of somebody, take them for the ride. 
It is up to the running back or your quarterback, whoever's running the football, to then make a determination based on where you're blocking him to cut back or cut or continue to go to the outside, right? So if you block a dude way out, they're going to cut up right behind you and go. If you end up turning him and blocking him, sealing him inside, they're going to hit the outside. It's not your job to try to determine where the running back is going. You block your man, the running back will do the rest. I love this dude's potential. I, my player comp of what he could get to was a guy who went number six overall, or excuse me, number seven overall to Detroit, Pine Suell. He's got some work to get to that ceiling, but he can get there. Do I pull the trigger at 16? I think there might be some better players there at that spot. But as far as a tackle is concerned, this dude has arguably the highest potential. All right. He really, really does. If we may be able to trade back from 16 into the 20s, add some capital, and Darnell Wright staring us in the face, man, or if we end up having to keep our 16 and he somehow falls to the second round, if he's there in the second, I am snagging him for sure. This guy has enough potential, if he's there in the second round, to be a top-notch tackle. Take him in the second round. That's my opinion on him. Uh, where do I think he should go? I think he probably should be a late first, early second in that range because he does have that high potential. There is just a few things he has to work on to really shine at that next level. I like him a lot. Darnell Wright out of Tennessee. You let me know what you think of Darnell in the comments below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also in the description below, there's a Discord link. Hop in our Discord and come talk some football with us. Last but not least, there are donation links. And you can join the channel if you want first look at these videos. I'm going to be posting them in the members-only section a day before. So if you want to become a channel member and support, 99 cents a month to get your skin in the game. And you'll see these things first. And just support me. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. And until next time, see ya!